So, Bob, do you believe in ghosts? I have an open mind. <laughs> he has uh, an I'm open a, mind. I'm a journalist. I have an open <laughs> mind to everything. All the things that go yeah. bump in the night. Well, a group right here at Arkansas is setting out to prove the paranormal world does, in fact, exist, and those spirits could be living closer than you think. Our Claire Kreitz <laughs> was able to tag along with them during one of their investigations in the Argenta area of North Little Rock for a story that's sure to haunt you. On this eerie, rainy night, mixed between the traffic lights and the few cars passing through. Sits Four Quarter Bar that's believed to have a few patrons who live beyond the natural world. How many spirits are here? Calling in Arkansas's version of Ghostbusters, this group investigates places just like this. Oh, I can feel it, sense it, see it. I can, they communicate with me. Michelle Martindale says she's always had a sense for the supernatural. When I say someone just talked to me or, or that just moved, they'd be like, you're crazy. I'm like, I'm going to prove to you I'm not crazy. I'm going to prove to you this is real. Then enters Blake Woodson. He's the kind of ghost hunter that needs the proof. He was a skeptic. I was a believer. So which makes it fun. I go into every investigation as a skeptic. Together, they created Sweet and Sour Paranormal. As they've gotten more involved in the mystic world, they decided to add a few others to the group. Is there someone around me right now? Would you like to say something to me? Talking to this mic. There's several different tools they use to attract and detect spirits. If anything senses it right here, it's going to light up and it's going to play music. The thing I like using the most is a spirit box. Uh, what it does is it goes through radio frequencies backwards and real fast. So it gives a white noise and the ghosts or spirits can communicate through that white noise. And then just a regular audio recorder. Uh, people go out and buy boats and stuff and we go out and buy ghost equipment. Just as they were setting up for this investigation. There is an energy upstairs and there is an energy here that is very curious about what we're doing. Martin Dill had a familiar feeling their group was not alone. How many? Four. 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 Do you like the music box? At first, it seems as if the spirits were toying with their hunters. Is there somebody here you don't like? Blake, yeah. Blake, yeah. Blake, yeah. Blake. Blake. Then things take a dark turn. He wants to go home or he wants to stay? This is aggressive. Leave. Leave. After three hours, the investigation is complete. Turning off the device. But just before the last bond between this world and the next is powered off. We're going to shut the spirit box off. The souls believed to be locked in this bar left us with one final message. <laughs> I wish I had covers right now because I would cover Last myself. Last call, <laughs> but apparently they didn't get the message. <laughs> they did not. So Sweet and Sour Paranormal, Paranormal travels across the state to investigate different locations. Their next stop is Cemetery in Lono County. To keep up with their latest investigations, you can go to their Facebook and, of course, like their page and yeah, follow Bob, along. Bob will be there for that one. I got a debrief player on that. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a while. We need to talk to her. <laughs> she was looking a little shaken up the other day, so maybe that's it.